All right, folks, welcome back. Welcome back to another quick one on my new Skidoo Expedition. This is the SC900 Turbo. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over what I decided to bring for a toolkit in the sled. I wanted a sled specific toolkit. I wanted a kit that I could leave right in the sled. I didn't wanna to have to worry about going from the truck to the sled, from the garage to the sled, from a shed to the sled. I wanted something that I could leave right in the sled because we all know what happens. The one time you need a tool, it's gonna to be sitting at home in your garage. So I put together a kit, uh, some tools I had at home. I didn't have enough extra tools to make a kit for this because I keep a kit in my truck. I keep a kit in a travel vehicle. I keep a small kit in a boat and I keep some tools in an outbuilding. So I did have to go out and buy some new. I was able to use a couple uh, of some of my older tools, but um, a good majority of these I bought brand new at Harbor Freight. And as I'm talking about them, I'll put up a quick clip of how much they cost. Um, but we're gonna get right after it, folks. Uh, this is just gonna be a real quick one. I'm gonna show you guys what I have for tools. And feel free to agree or disagree. If you would have chosen to bring something else, that's completely fine. Feel free to share what you run. If you feel like I missed something, you know, feel free to share that as well. And I wanted something that would fit in this box here because I'm not gonna run this all the time. And again, I don't wanna have to worry about swapping everything. So I wanted something that would fit right in this box. So this is the case I went with. I was actually looking for a small case and I really couldn't find one. So this is just a uh, Home Depot 12 inch document bag. This thing was like $6. I know it's not perfect for this, but I mean, this is a nice rugged fabric, nice rugged zipper. So this is what I went with. I'll put a few other links down in the description of a couple other bags I may buy. I was looking at buying some on Amazon, but I happened to see this one, so this is what I went with. So this is how I have it. Everything is just all kind of loose in there. So we're gonna start right here. I have a little selection of zip ties. I have a couple large ones, a couple small ones, and I have, I don't know, probably 10 to 12 feet of electrical cord. Um, I mean, uh, electrical tape taped onto these zip ties. So that's number one, old pair of pliers. These are a screwdriver set from Harbor Freight. So I got the four smaller sizes. And I have a roll of duct tape on a pin here. Uh, anybody that ever does anything with a trailer or snowmobile, you're always missing these. Uh, so I have an extra one of these and some duct tape. I got a Harbor Freight kit here, Allen Keys, SAE and metric. And this one here is the Torx bits. Um, pretty much all the sizes I would need to work on this sled. Old pair of vice grips I had kicking around. And I have SAE and metric sockets just organized in a plastic bag here. And here's the actual socket driver, also from Harbor Freight. Another old pair of pliers. And we have a full set of Harbor Freight wrenches, SAE and metric. What I did is I took the smaller sets and taped them together. And I took the bigger set and taped them together, all uh, coordinated by SAE and metric. And we have just a regular adjustable, I think, yeah, this is an eight inch. So just an eight inch adjustable. And that's it guys, that's all I have. I just wanna talk real quick about the sockets I decided to go with. These are what's called a pass-through socket. So you can see this looks quite a bit different than a regular um, socket here. This snaps in and a bolt can actually pass through this, almost sort of like a deep socket. That's why I went this route, is if I had you know something that I needed to use a little more of a deep socket, 
um, this may be able to help a little better. So, you know, you just take your different um, socket and just snap it in. And just show you a couple other things. This does have an actual adapter right here. Came with this adapter. Um, so you can either put like a screwdriver bit in here or run standard sockets here. This is a 3 8 drive. Uh, it did come with them. And one thing I did forget to mention is I did get a set of these. These things are always handy. You know, if I don't have the tool and somebody else does, I'll be able to adapt down to these right here. But uh, the only thing I found that's a, uh, a negative with these is this doesn't adapt to like a standard extension, you know, on like a regular socket set. Uh, that was kind of an afterthought. So far, I still think this is a good choice, but I did find myself thinking that it would be good to be able to adapt down, um, you know, with a six or eight inch extension. But as it is, you know, I'm not able to do that. But that's basically it, guys. That's my tool kit. And for a cheap, you know, five, six dollar bag, this actually fits this compartment perfect. You know, if I slide this over to the side, I still have this entire chunk of the box here, about half uh, of the height here. So I'll be able to fit my battery jumper. I'm gonna have a first aid kit in here, some other miscellaneous stuff. But this bag just fits in there really well. Um, everything's nice and neat, nice and compact. It doesn't shake and rattle around, which is a big thing. I didn't want a bunch of stuff clanging around. But this little five or six dollar bag works really well. Let me know what you folks think. Feel free to share your comments. Feel free if you think that's too big of a kit, too small of a kit, let me know what you run. I'm sure I'll probably end up adding more stuff to that kit, but that's just what I have right now. Um, and I did weigh that, that clock's in at like 10 and a half pounds. So, I mean, it's a beefy little kit. I mean, if you're looking to shave every ounce off your sled, that's probably not the kit for you. But I feel pretty confident with that kit right there that if I need to fix something, I'll be able to fix most things with that kit right there. But we're gonna wrap it up there, folks. Again, feel free to leave your comments, you know, any critiques you may have. We're gonna wrap it up there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.